from Salt Lake City, Utah. Once again, we are not we are in NX, on NXT in Salt Lake City. So let's get on with the action. And kicking off the show, we've got Jimmy Havoc. I wonder what he's got to say here on NXT as we're live from Salt Lake City. Curiously enough, we were in Salt Lake City for NXT TakeOver in January, and now we're just passing by Salt Lake City, and we saw, hey, let's just, let's, let's start an NXT show here while we're, while we make our way to NXT TakeOver Fighter Fest live in Boston, Massachusetts in August next month. So now we are live here in Salt Lake City, Utah, once again for NXT, and we got Jimmy Havoc on the mic, and we'll see what's gonna have, what he's gonna say. Here we go, Jimmy having making his way to the ring. We are live. We are live from Salt Lake City at the Maverick Center for NXT. And kicking off the kicking off NXT, we got Jimmy Havoc about to say something on the mic. I'm curious about what he's got to say. And here comes Tommaso Ciampa. He's about to say something. He's about to make his way to the ring. Jimmy Havoc, not impressed the way that Tommaso Ciampa blatantly interrupted him during his promo. To me, that was kind of rude on Tommaso Ciampa's part. But hey, at least he's here. He's going to grab a mic. We're going to see what he's got to say. But I still thought that was kind of rude on Ciampa's part to interrupt Jimmy Havoc with such a brilliant promo. But anyways, let's just see what he says.
looks like Jimmy Havoc has had enough of what Tommaso Ciampa's got to say, and he's making his way to, to the backstage as he's set to prepare for his match tonight. But I got a feeling that Tommaso Ciampa is going to blatantly attack Jimmy Havoc in his match, causing him to go, causing a disqualification. But I'm not so sure about that. But we're going to have to find out and see. Up next, we've got the NXT Tag Team Champions, Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta, taking on the former NXT Tag Team Champions, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus here tonight. We all know what happened. We all know the story. The best friends defeated Jurassic Express for the NXT Champ Tag Team Championships at NXT TakeOver Las Vegas. I gotta say that was one that was a very unexpected turn of events to happen knowing that Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy held the NXT Tag Team Championships for a little bit only to lose them to the best friends at NXT TakeOver Las Vegas now it looks like the former tag team champions are going to face the current tag team champions but not in a title match but in just a normal one on one match so we're going to see how this goes And the best friends are already ready in the... Oh, and look who it is. It's Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole of the NSBD era. They're attacking Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus before their match even started. And it looks like the best friends have gotten an advantage because they Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy look badly hurt. And Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly making their way back to the ring. Not the ring, I mean backstage. And it looks like Chuck Taylor and Jungle Boy are going to start things off here. And if, and if you're just tuning in, welcome to NXT as we're coming to you live from the Maverick Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. Here we go, Chuck Taylor and Jungle Boy starting things off. I think this kind of feels like AEW at right now. Boy, that's just me. That's just my, my, my point of view of it. Jungle Boy wrenching the arm of uh, Chuck Taylor. You know, I think Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly made the biggest mistake of their of their career attacking Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus before their match. Don't they realize that Luchasaurus, being the big guy of the Jurassic Express team, has the advantage to to destroy them in just what just in just the blink of an eye. That's how blatantly dangerous Jungle Luchasaurus is not Jungle Boy. I, I, I gotta say that Jungle Boy is kind of dangerous, but not that much. Jungle Boy's got his backup. He's got his dinosaur with him. That's why. That's why Jungle Boy is known as his boy, as the boy and his dinosaur. So, oh, and a slam. Luchasaurus tagged in now. Chuck Taylor's in trouble. And a reversal. Oh, and to the corner. 
up to the, to the chest. On a reversal. Another reversal by Chuck Taylor. And an elbow clothesline. And a clothesline, I think. So, power bomb. Down goes Luchasaurus. You should see the power and strength that Chuck Taylor just picked up Luchasaurus like he was just a bag of what's a good what's a good um I don't know bag of um I have no clue I can't think of a can't think of a thing. I was gonna say a bag of leaves, but that kind of makes no sense. But I'm trying my best just to figure something out. So you know what? I'm not just gonna. I'm not gonna say that anymore. My head's starting to hurt because of the because of the confusion. Oh! Oh no! Bag of laundry, that's really not really. I'm not very good at like comparing people to And you just saw you just saw that Chuck Taylor just lifted Luchasaurus like he was nothing, like he was just a bag of air. Air. Airheads. Oh, I'm just being a simp. That was mine. Fire slip. No. Backbreaker. Tilt to world backbreaker. There we go. Ooh. -hoo. Put to the face to Jungle Boy. Chuck Taylor, what's he going for? Wild driver. Ooh. -hoo. Here's the cover. And a kick. Well, actually, Luchasaurus just saved his partner from being pinned. And Chuck Taylor wasted no time just to score the pinfall here. Oh, reversal by Jungle Boy. Irish rip to the corner. Trent Beretta's tagged in. Got drop total with an elbow. A reversal by Jungle Boy. And a stiff punch to the face. Trent Beretta just da trying to damage the leg of Jungle Boy here as much as he possibly can. What's the younger boy gonna do? Ooh, a double knee to the face. Jumping double knee to the face to be exact. If that's the name of the move, I, I don't know. And a takedown by Trent. Drop kick. And Trent just taunting the crowd here. Irish whip. A reversal by Jungle Boy. Trent trying to let go of the hold. There we go. Dragging Trent to the ropes. Reversal. And Trent. Here's the cover. And Luchasaurus saves his partner once again. Oh, and 
Trent. DDT onto the ring apron. I love that Trent Beretta is full of surprises. You don't you don't know what he's up to. Boy with trouble. Ooh. Double kick. Oh, and a big boot to the face. Lucha starts tagging out. Oh, big boot. Chuck Taylor escaping. Here we go. Drop kick. No. Here's the cover here. Kick out by Chuck Taylor. Uh oh, here we go, Jungle Boy. Where are you, Jungle Boy? Oh, he's out. Uh, we just saw Luke the Service a choke slam. There he is. There's Jungle Boy right there. Oh, and Luke the Service, what's he setting up for? Uh oh, reversal by Chuck Taylor. Uh oh. Here we go. Ooh. Took that again. Oh, Nelson. Ooh, Luchasaurus must be out after that. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Is it just me or is, or is Jungle Boy bleeding from the forehead? Either that, you just got busted open. Jungle Boy taken out of the equation. Here we go. Here, here's Jungle. Here's Chuck Taylor again. Power uh, pile driver. I almost said power bomb. Actually, pile driver. And here's the cover. And the best friends score a pinfall. What a very unusual match between Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy and the best friends. Back and forth action between these two teams. It's amazing what tag team wrestling can do to entertain us all. Well, I gotta admit, that was a very entertaining match to say the least. Here I guess it's just are my your winners, Chuck Taylor and Trevor Beretta. You can see that. Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor celebrating the victory against Jurassic Express here on NXT. And we got Marty Daniels on the mic. Salt Lake City Zone, Marty Daniels here on NXT. She's about to say something to the to her to her fans here. As I am go, probably going to say it again, as we're live from Maverick Center in Salt Lake City, Utah, here for NXT. As we're on the road to NXT Takeover Fighter Fest, that's going to happen next month in August, live from Boston, Massachusetts. Marty Daniels already make already in the ring. She's ready to say what she's got to say to the, to her to her to the people here in Salt Lake City. Let's see what she's got to say now.
such wo words from Marty Daniels as she expressed her feelings to the fans here. I wasn't paying attention actually. I was just I don't know if that was good or bad or I don't know. All I just saw was that she will she wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the fans. But that's kind of like a very heartwarming I think. But anyways, we got the former NXT television champion Bandito versus Jimmy Havoc. Here one on one here tonight on NXT. Like I said before that Jimmy Havoc was cutting a promo when he was rudely interrupted by Tommaso Ciampa earlier the, at the beginning of the show. And they were trading some really harsh words against each other. But seeing as though that Jimmy Havoc's going to be prepared for his match here tonight, I just hope that Tommaso Ciampa doesn't interfere or do anything stupid. That would likely cost Jimmy Havoc the match. Or would likely cause Bandito the match. Whichever comes... Which, which, whatever happens. Here we go. Here we go, Bandito. Jimmy Havoc one-on-one -on -one here on NXT. Father and Elbow tie-up making their way to, to, the ring, to the ring post. And you see a slap to the face by Bandito. And you see Jimmy Havoc dragging Bandito to the... Oh. Headbutts to the, to the ring. Turnbuckles. Oh. Oh no. I'm Bandito. Neckbreaker. Oh, and look who it. Oh no, it's Tommaso Ciampa. What's going on here? Oh, and Tommaso Ciampa was trying to attack Bandito. Oh, and Jimmy Havoc with the, with the distraction. Well, that's kind of one. Well, that's kind of one good thing that Tommaso Ciampa did, which is to trying to distract Bandito so his opponent would take action. As you probably heard from the beginning of the show, that Jimmy Havoc was told that by Tommaso Ciampa that he has an egg-shaped head. I can kind of see that he has an egg-shaped head. I don't know about you guys. Oh, and also that Jimmy Havoc told Tommaso Ciampa that the fans don't know good wrestling if it smacked him in the face. And if I'm not mistaken, this is pretty much turning into a good match right here. If it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for Tommaso Ciampa just trying to trying to ruin the match. Ooh. Drop kick to the back. Right, here's the cover. On a backstabber. And a kick to the back. It looks like Jimmy Havoc's going to the top. He's gonna do something here. And a reversal by by Bandito. And a 1916th by Bandito. And a loose Seth press and the punches come raining down. Crystal by a bandito here. Uh. 
as you know guys Salt Lake City is known for their NBA basketball team the Utah Jazz who play at the Vivid Smart Home Arena just a few miles from here from the Maverick Center You can see that Jimmy Havoc's just walking in, walking in place. I don't know why. He's just walking. Now he's stopped. Oh, and a headlock. That was saying headlock. Here's the cover and a kick out. Here we go to the top. Here we go. And a reversal by Bandito. Drop kick. It looks like Bandito's going to the top. Jimmy Havoc trying to. Oh no. What's Jimmy Havoc doing? Uh oh. Going for a superplex or a middle rope superplex. On Jimmy Havoc also making his making his way to the top. Watch out! And a drop kick. Oh, and Bandito power bomb time. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Oh, and now he's got him to the submission. Did Jimmy have a tap out? Oh, I guess he's not. And a stomp for good measure. You see that Bandito's making his way to the top again. Oh, and a five-star frog splash, but Jimmy Havoc thankfully gets out of the way. Uh-oh. Ooh, he's cover and a kick out. There you go, Irish whip. Back body drop. Irish whip. Metal rope DDT, here it comes. And it connects. A drop kick. Bandito setting it up. He's setting it up. Going for. Oh, and a reversal by Jimmy Havoc. Reversal. Drop kick. Well, Bandito going for it again. Going for it. Ooh. -hoo. Will this be it? Here's the cover. Back and forth act between these two. What a, what a what a back and forth match. But with the help of Tommaso Ciampa, Jimmy Havoc felt to put away Bandito. So I honestly think that that was a stupid plan by Tommaso Ciampa to just attack Bandito just like that. So 
I was Tomas Ciampa, I would just stay out of Bandito's way, even though Jimmy Havoc and Tomas Ciampa are currently in a rivalry. But I think it was best if Tommaso Ciampa wasn't involved in this match, as if if he if he was then if he wasn't involved in this match, then Jimmy Havoc would have successfully put away Bandito. But the but the tables were turned, having Bandito take the pin for against Jimmy Havoc here tonight. Up next, we got Shinsuke Nakamura taking on the Velveteen Dream here one on one here on NXT. As we just saw last week, that Kazuchika Okada faced Velveteen Dream only to get only to get uh, interfered by Shinsuke Nakamura, which caught which cost Okada the match and had Velveteen Dream t pick up the victory, but now. Velveteen Dream's gonna have to face Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm pretty sure that we haven't seen Okada in the backstage. I don't even I don't even think he's here tonight. But we're gonna have to find out and see. Shinsuke Nakamura getting out of the ring. As he's trying to avoid Velveteen Dream, I don't think even even wants a part of Velveteen Dream, knowing that I think that he fears that he might lose to the Velveteen Dream. Three. On a back suplex, back suplex by Shinsuke. Oh, Irish whip, German suplex. Oh. Oh, and Shinsuke. Oh, and Velveteen Dream with a scoop slam. Velveteen Dream. Set it up. Suplex. Back of the ring goes Shinsuke, followed by Velveteen Dream. Here we go, Dream is too again. The King of Strong Style just trying to put away Velveteen Dream. Oh, and Velveteen Dream. Oh, here we go. Back to the on the. Ooh, -hoo. Oh, and face first onto the ring apron. And a big boot. The referee starting his 10 count. Four. Five. Oh, and face first into the steel steps. Breaking free, Velveteen Dream. Gross. Suplex. Gone suplex. Oh, look at the strength of Velveteen Dream here. Let me go. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here, Velveteen Dream? I don't, what's going on here? Oh, and Velveteen, oh! Oh, and face first to the, to the rope. Here's the cover. I think someone was playing Velveteen Dream's music. Oh, and 
Ref almost got taken out. Referee Josh Barrett almost got taken out by Velveteen by Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh oh, Velveteen Dream. Look at Rainmaker. No. And a drop kick. Shinsuke waiting for the perfect time for Velveteen Dream to get back on his feet. Uh oh. Uppercut. Now I think someone played Velveteen's Dream theme on purpose just for Shinsuke to uh, roll him up, pick him up, pick up the win and Walk out of here. That's just that's just my theory. Reversal. Uh oh. Out of the ring goes Shinsuke. German suplex by Velveteen Dream. Here we go, drop kick. Oh, and face first into the LED ring post. And Velveteen Dream in trouble. Jinsuke. Uh oh. Ooh. -hoo. Kinshasa. Kinshasa to Velveteen Dream. Here's the cover. And a kick out. On Velveteen Dream. In trouble. Oh, here we go again. Kinshasa. Looks like Velveteen Dream is out. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Shinsuke Nakamura with two Kinshasa's and not one of them just put, didn't put away Velveteen Dream. This just proves that Velveteen Dream still has got a little bit of energy in, inside of him. A little bit of energy, a little bit of battery life to keep him going. Out goes Shinsuke Nakamura. Two. Referee Josh Barrett just starting his 10 count. Well, belly to belly German suplex again by Velveteen Dream. Face by Shinsuke. Here we go. Oh, and Shinsuke, here we go again. Ooh. Shinsuke Nakamura wasting no time, and here we go, here we go again. Shin Shasa. Here's the cover. And Shinsuke Nakamura picks up the win here on NXT. What back and forth action. Now, I thought Velveteen Dream had this in the bag, but apparently Shinsuke had other ideas. As he applied two Kinshasa's, but not one of them put a, put away Velveteen Dream. That just proves that Velveteen Dream still has got a little bit of battery life left in him. 
to kick out of such a very devastating move such as the Kinshasa. But the third one was the one that put away Velveteen Dream. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura! Kushida Shinsuke Nakamura is celebrating his victory here. We got Lazara on the mic now for N here on NXT as she is ready to face Sochi Lopez for the NXT Women's Championship in a, in a few weeks at NXT TakeOver Fighter Fest live in Boston, Massachusetts. She's going to address her situation against, against about her match here in Salt Lake City, Utah. She's going to address what she's about to do to Sochi Lopez at NXT TakeOver Fighter Fest. But I'm actually curious about what she's got to say here tonight. And Lazara is already in the ring. She's prepared to say what she's got to say to pe to the NXT crowd here. And also, I'm actually curious about what she's got to say. So let's see. Oh, and Lazar just called out Sochi Lopez a few weeks before their NXT champ Women's Championship match. I'm pretty sure she Lazar's got something to say to her. Uh, she's about to make her way to the ring. Oh, and here she is. Here's the NXT Women's Champion, Sochi Lopez, making her way to the ring as she is about to say something, try to get something off her chest about Lazara and she's about to grab a mic. I want to know what these two are going to say to each other, so let's, let's look and listen.
Oh, we got a brawl going on, boys. We got a brawl. Here we go. Now, I thought there was going to be a peaceful promo, but apparently these two got other plans. They they decided to go to beat the living hell out of each other. The NXT Women's Champion is down. Lazar's being the absolute. You know what out of her. Go middle rope DDT. Oh. Oh, and Lazaro wasting no time to apply a lot of damage to Sochi Lopez. Oh, and punching her in the f face. And out of the ring goes Sochi Lopez. Back in the ring she goes. Oh. Here we go. Backstabber. Oh. Referee stopped his match. Stopped his fight. The referee's calling off, calling off the fight. As I think Lazar's got had enough of the damage as she was inflicted. My goodness, what a what a sight to see! I did not, I didn't expect that. Speaking of, we got. Dax Hardwood and Cash Wheeler, the revolt, taking on Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian in this tag team match here on NXT. Cash Wheeler is starting things off here. Christopher, Christopher Daniels. Reversal by, by Cash Wheeler for the Russian next week. Here we go. And a hip toss. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, we're just dragging Ash Wheeler to Frankie Zarn to get, to get tagged in. Or maybe not. On a flying forearm. Irish whip. Oh, and Max Hardwood tagged in. Double team by the revolt. Power bomb. Our oh, reversal by Christopher Daniels. Forearm to the corner. Oh, Christopher Daniels just choking the life out of out of Dax Hardwood. For the people who are new here that that think, oh, Dax Hardwood, that's not Dax. Why are you calling him Dax Hardwood? That's his his name's not Dax Hardwood. His name is that is Scott Dawson and. Cash Wheeler's name is actually Dash Wilder. Well, that that's basically what their new names are in AEW, so... 
They're not called Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder anymore. They're called Dax Hardwood and Cash Wheeler. They're not. They're no. They're no longer called the Revival. They're now called the Revolt, according to AEW standards. There we go. Power bomb by Dax Hardwood. I want to reverse my Christopher Daniels and you just saw that Cash Wheeler just applauding his partner. Such a tremendous move. Like Zarian tagged in now. I want a reversal. Here we go. Oh. Take down by. You saw that Cash Wheeler was trying to tag in his partner. He was wanting to get his tag by his partner. But Frank Zarian. A crossbody by Christopher Daniels. That's hard to Reversal. Submission. Is Christopher Daniels going to tap out? I don't think he is. No, he is not. Oh, and a reversal by Christopher Daniels. Oh, and another reversal by Christopher Daniels, and now. Cash wheel tagged in. Tremendous double double team action here against Christopher Daniels and Frank Gazarian. But the revolt might be destined for an NXT tag team championship in the future. If they can pull the, if they can pull off matches that Oh here we go, reversal by Cash Wheeler. Oh! Double legs to the face. Oh. Reversal. Line four on by Ash Wheeler. Reversal by Kazarian. Oh, Sister Abigail. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Ash Wheeler with a kick out. Uh oh. Irish whip. Close line. Ooh. There we go. And Gagarin setting it up. Push the fate. Here's the cover. And a kick out. This match is out of control. To their corner. There you go. Dax Harbor now now tagged in. Tag team action by these two. Oh, stomp to the knee. By a suplex. Back into the ring. Oh, 
Oh. Discover. Hey, 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 that's not fair. Kick out at two. Himself to tag in Christopher Daniels. There we go. There we go. Good play. Whip the corner. There we go. Revolt. Set it up. Oh. And here's the cover. Cash Wheeler and Dax Hardwood scored a scored a pin here on NXT against Christopher Daniels and Frank Gazzari. And here's he's here you can see the back and forth action between these two teams. The revolt square of victory here against Kazarian and Daniels of SCU. Back and forth action they go be between these two. It's amazing. This is what ended, and this what was end, what ended it all. Here are your winners, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, the Road Rival. And the Revolt celebrating their victory here on NXT as they go on the path of possibly going after the NXT Tag Team Championships. But they all got to remember that there's also a lot of other superstars, other tag teams wanting a shot at the NXT Tag Team Championships here. But let's see how that goes in the near future. We go. We got Lazaro versus Dakota Kai here, one on one, on NXT. And during the promo between Sochi Lopez and Lazaro, after the promo was over, Sochi Lopez attacked Lazaro with a microphone, and then a brawl started. Good thing the referee was there to to break it up before it got even worse. Now we've got Lazara versus Dakota Kai here, one on one on NXT. Well, Lazara's already in the ring. She's ready. She's ready for her match. Dakota Kai making her way to the ring. And oh no! It, it's Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville just attacking Dakota Kai before her match. Come on, man. That's not fair. The referee trying to stop the match. Oh, here we go. 
no. Oh. We got a bra on our hands now. I'm pretty sure the bell hasn't rung. If the, if it did, then this would have been a one-on-one -on -one match. A reversal by Dakota Kai. And a spear takedown. Irish whip. Fine buster. Another Irish whip. And a spear to the turnbuckle to the corner. Oh. We didn't even get to see the match. This is so sad. Well, that didn't end that didn't end as I hoped it would, but I'm pretty sure nobody's been happy. This match was a disaster to say the least. Yeah, it was. Here we go, we got Maxwell Verde, the NXT champion, taking on the former NXT champion, Cameron Bash, one-on-one -on -one here on NXT. As you all know, that Black Heron and Maxwell Verde are currently in a feud, and Black Heron's desperately wanting to go for the NXT championship. But there's more than one superstar who's who is wanting a chance at the NXT champ championship, and that's Cameron Bash as well. Also, Isaiah Evans also wants a shot at the NXT Tag. Why do I keep saying Tag Team Championships? I mean the NXT Championship. That's a lot of superstars wanting the title shot. Match just started. Back, back suplex. Here got another back suplex. No. Cameron Bash. Ooh. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Oh, and the Irish whip up down spear. and a shoulder tackle. Here go another Irish whip. Another spine buster by Cam by Maxwell Reed to Cameron Bash. And out of the ring goes Black goes Cameron Bash and it. Maxwell Reed setting it up. Oh, and German suplex. And neck breaker.
We'll go for a spear with a reversal by Axel Verdi now. Oh, backbreaker. One of Maxwell Verdi was a signature, but a reversal by Kevin Bash. And a clothesline from the back. DDT Oh we go He's the bomb by Cameron Bash and here's the cover. I don't know what they call it. And the kick out. Oh, setting it up. Cameron Bash with the bash bottom. Down he goes. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Ooh, another cover. And another kick out. Maxwell Verde. Oh, we go bash bottom used by Maxwell Verde. And here, oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Apparently that didn't work. Maxwell Verde using Cameron Bash's own finisher. Try to put him away. Trying to use the bash bottom. Here we go. On a reversal. Well, now it's the slam. Oh. Just like that, Maxwell really picks up the win here. Cameron Bash didn't even know what happened. You see the back and forth action between these two. And what ended the match was a roll up by Maxwell Verde. And I don't even think that Cameron Bash knew what happened. All he knows is that he just got rolled up and got pinned. Interesting though. The bash bottom. Seriously enough. Oh, speaking of bash bottom, here's Max Verde using it to his advantage. Here's your winner. Look at Max that. Will Bernie. Cameron Bash arguing with the with referee saying that that was a two count. Continue on with NXT here with that with that match. Oh, and speaking of Maxwell Birdie, he's about to he's about to cut a promo here, and I believe this is the final this is the final segment of the show. It's Maxwell Birdie cutting his promo here on NXT. I wonder what he got to say as he is as he is prepared to say what he's got to say in, to the fans here. I think it's either about his NXT championship opponent or something that's bugging him or I don't know. We're going to have to find out and see.
There we go, Maxwell Birdie making his way back to the ring as he is set to cut a promo or try to say, try to get something off his chest here. He's about to grab a mic, and I am actually really prepared to see what he's got to say as the NXT champions is now taking the stage. Maxwell Brady calling out Black Heron here as Black Heron's going to make his way to the ring as he's set to confront the NXT champion. And here he is, he's making his way to the ring. I wonder what he's got to say. This is Maxwell Brady. Giving him some space to grab a mic. I wonder what Black Hound's got to say here. I'm actually curious.
Maxwell really sends some harsh words to Black Heron. I don't think Black Heron took that very lightly. As Black Heron remain still standing in the ring, Maxwell Ray is heading back to the back to the locker room as NXT comes to an end. And we'd like to thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And as always, thank you for watching and take care.